Hey guys, it's The Fly Natural here and I am back with another video. So welcome back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. If you like what you see here, please be sure to hit the subscribe button and join the family. So today's video is going to be a video about the pros and cons of interlocking. So if that is something you'll be interested in watching, stay tuned. Okay, you guys, for those of you who have been following my journey, you know that I maintain my locks through interlocking. I'm about four days off of a fresh retire, so while Lola is looking so good today. And so I just wanted to bring you a video to let you know some of the pros and cons that I experienced while interlocking, just in case you were deciding to interlock your hair on your own, or if you have um, a dilemma about interlocking or retwisting. So I have four pros and four cons. And if you are familiar with this channel, you know that I write everything down. So if you catch me looking down, that's what I'm looking at. So let's get started. So we're gonna start off with the pros. So the first pro that I have is that my interlocking lasts long. So I typically have to retie my hair once every four to six weeks, six weeks is if I'm pushing it, but it tends to last long. I don't have a problem with it slipping out or coming out or becoming more frizzy at the roots after I interlock it. I pretty much just interlock it and then I'm good to go. So that's a great pro. The second pro is that I don't have to add any extra products to my hair. So like I don't have to add any gels or butters or creams or anything like that. The only thing that I use when I retie my hair are my styling tools and some water. That's it and that's all. So I don't have to feel like I'm causing any buildup or anything on my scalp. Just regular water and my tools. The next pro is it causes less tension and breakage and what i mean by that is that when you're interlocking your hair especially your own hair you can kind of gauge once you're doing your rotations the tightness of your hair so by that you can feel whether you want to go one more rotation or if that next rotation will cause it to be too tight you feel that it's getting a little bit too tight or it's tight enough you won't have to worry about doing another rotation and that won't cause any excess breakage last pro is that it is great for an active lifestyle so you can wash your hair right after a retie you can go swimming right after a retie you can work out and sweat right after a retie and you don't have to worry about it coming apart coming loose slipping out or anything like that the style is pretty much locked in until it's time for you to retie again so those are my pros for reties Dun, dun, dun. Now it's time for the cons. Now, my first con is that doing reties could cause knots. If you're not really sure of what you're doing, you could accidentally cause knots in your locks. And I did that for one lock and the knot isn't that bad, but you can definitely tell when it's time to retie because the knot is right here. You can definitely feel it when you go in to retie because once you get closer to um the end of your rotation that knot will kind of like get a little hard to go through so i recommend when you're doing your reties take your time pay attention the next con and this has happened to me multiple times not so much lately but it has happened to me before you can accidentally combine locks now this was happening to me when i thought you know, I knew what I was doing and I didn't have to use my clips and I didn't section everything off. And I went ahead and I went through and I went through far and I accidentally combined a couple of locks. I think in total, I may have done that to maybe three different locks in my head that some, like some I was able to undo. And then the one on this side of my head, I was not able to undo. And it ended up turning out being a good combination because the one lock was significantly thinner than the one next to it. I didn't necessarily mind that it was combined, but yes, you can accidentally combine some locks. So make sure that when you are interlocking your hair, that you have clips and section everything out and make sure that you have everything sectioned so that you do not combine any locks. The next con, is 
causing holes to your locks. Now this hasn't happened to me because I'm pretty good at my rotations, but you have to remember your rotations. And when you start to interlock your hair, like that next retie, you have to make sure you don't go through the same position twice because that can cause a hole in your lock and that can also cause a weakness within your locks now it could be an easy fix if you catch it in time but if you don't catch it it can eventually lead to a weak spot in your locks so you have to make sure that you are knowing your rotation whether you're doing a four point whether you're doing a two point whether you're doing a three point make sure that you're not going through that same point of entry more than once and then my last and final con is the amount of time that it takes to do a retie baby now with me i have over 300 locks in my head and it takes me um on and off three days about three days to do my retie this last retie really only took me two days because i put on a good netflix show and i was just cranking it out but it does take a lot of time it's a rather easy process but it's a very tedious process so it takes a lot of time depending on the amount of locks and the amount of new growth you have on your locks so be mindful of that if you are considering interlocking your hair all right you guys that's all i have for you for today's video let me know your experiences with interlocking do you have any more pros or cons that you would like to add to this list of mine let me know down below be sure to like comment and subscribe if you aren't subscribed already and i will catch you guys in my next video peace